Hi, my name is Megan Contino. I'm a clinical specialist with Z-Medica, representing the full line of Quick Clot products. Today, I'd like to take a little bit of time to talk to you about how our products can help you, your patients, and all of your ICUs. First off, let's start with a little bit of history about our company. We started off with the military as a product called Combat Gauze. We're currently the preferred hemostatic choice for all five branches of the U.S. military. From there, we started working with our first responders, including EMS and law enforcement, and since have moved into a hospital setting. You can now currently find our products in many hospitals in departments such as the emergency department, ICUs, cath labs, and most recently now in trauma surgery and in the operating room with our newest product called Quick Clot Control Plus which is indicated for severe bleeding of the internal organ space. What sets our products apart from other hemostatic agents is that all of our devices are impregnated with an inorganic mineral called kaolin. Our products have no human, animal, shellfish, or botanical products in them, which may initiate an allergic response. Also to note, we have no known issues with emboli or thrombosis associated with the quick clot product. How Kaolin works is when coming in contact with the patient's blood, factor 12 is activated on the intrinsic pathway, accelerating the clotting cascade and speeding up the body's ability to form a clot naturally. What this means for you in your ICUs is when using the quick clot line of products, you will be able to ensure that your patient's bleeding is managed and under control. We have products that will be able to assist you with reduced hold times when pulling sheets or catheters bedside. We also have products that will be able to help with any nuisance oozing or bleeding associated with indwelling catheters or sheets. And we also have products that will be able to assist you with any surgical site incision bleeding or trach management. The first product I would like to talk to you about is our Quick Clot Interventional Kit. Product reference number 183. As shown, it will come in a sterile foil package with a 3M tegaderm attached to the back. The product will look and feel just like a normal gauze. However, the entire device is impregnated with kaolin. This means it does not matter which side of the device is applied to your patient, so long as you ensure it comes in contact with the patient's blood. This device works great for sheath pulls bedside or tract oozing associated with closure devices, often placed in cath lab type procedures. When pulling a sheath or a catheter, our device can be used for patients on anti-coax up to a sheath size 7 French. Patients without anything on board or those who have been reversed can be used on up to a sheath size 12 French. When placing the product, you will notice two stitch sites on the pad. One stitch should sit just about a quarter of an inch past the skin puncture site. This will allow for the second stitch to approximately be over the arteriotomy site, allowing for appropriate placement of pressure when we're doing a sheath pull. Once placed, we will bump the pad, pull the sheath, ensuring that blood has come in contact with the pad, and as per our IFU, we will hold five minutes of pressure. Pressure should be firm, but non-occlusive. One study by Dr. Trabatoni supports a manual hold time of eight minutes. During this, they were able to achieve 100% hemostasis. Do not lift the pad once it is placed. Once hemostasis has been achieved, the tegaderm can then be placed on top of the device. This can be left on your patient for up to 24 hours. The next product I would like to show you is our interventional pre-slit kit, product reference number 188. As shown, it will come in a sterile foil package with a 3M tegaderm attached to the back. Note this product looks similar to the other interventional pad, product number 183. However, the package is labeled pre-slit and the pad will come with a Y slit already cut into it. Again, the entire device is impregnated with kaolin, so it does not matter which side of the device is applied to your patient as long as it is coming in contact with that patient's blood. This product works great 
for oozing or bleeding associated with any indwelling catheters, lines, or sheets. Again, per our IFU, pressure should be placed directly to the bleeding site for five minutes or until bleeding is controlled. This will work well for any patient with an indwelling line or catheter, such as an impella or other VADs, hemodialysis catheters, ECMO, trachs, central lines, or any other indwelling line. Because this will remain indwelling, we don't expect bleeding to be completely stopped in every patient. For instance, a balloon pump patient, which would continuously move. However, this product can help drastically reduce nuisance bleeding and oozing or skin bleeds. Like our 183 product, once hemostasis is achieved, the tegaderm can be placed on top and remain on your patient for up to 24 hours. The last product I would like to discuss with you is our hemostatic dressing 4x4, product reference number 459. It will come in a sterile foil package. Like all quick clot products, the entire device is impregnated with kaolin. You will also note a blue radiopaque strip on this device for x-ray detection. Because the entire device is impregnated with kaolin, it can be applied in a number of ways. You can use it how it comes right out of the package, opened, folded, or rolled to fit your hemostasis needs. It will look and feel like any other 4x4 available on your units. This device will help you with your hemostasis needs in a number of scenarios. This can be placed on surgical site incisions with oozing or bleeding, around trach placements, anterior nosebleeds, oral bleeds, or anywhere else you may see external bleeding. This can also be used in conjunction with the pre-slit 188 product for larger indwelling lines or sheets such as ECMO. Pressure should be applied until bleeding is controlled. This product can remain on your patient for up to 24 hours. With all of the products discussed in this video, if you notice upon removal that there is any resistance of removing the quick clot product, a little bit of sterile saline can be applied to the dressing, which will aid in removing the dressing without disrupting clot formation or causing a rebleed. Thank you so much for your time today. If you have any further questions on any of the Quick Clot line of products, please don't hesitate to reach out to your territory manager or the clinical specialist for your area. Thank you and have a great day.